Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a New Year's Eve makeup look for you guys. I knew I wanted to do something with some glitter, some sparkle, because that is kind of what reminds me of New Year's. I actually did a poll on my Facebook page and there was an overwhelming response for this particular look. Of course, I did kind of my own twist on it. If you're wondering why I have so much hair right now, it is because I have in my Bellamy extensions. These are the ombre extensions. This is actually the first time I've worn them. I've had them for probably a couple of years and this is the first time I've worn them. It's something a little different. Not sure if blonde is my thing or not. Figured I'd just throw them in for this video. Give this video a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe before you leave so that you don't miss any of the fun. You want to see how I got this New Year's Eve makeup look? Then please keep watching. So this is going to be a talk through and it may take a little bit longer than normal. I did already do my brows off camera and I used my new Cabral by Benefit and the Ready Set Brow by Benefit. Wanted them to be just a little bit bolder than usual since we are doing a dramatic look today for New Year's Eve. I'm going to go ahead and start with the eyes which is why I have my shadow shields on because I'm going to be playing around with a little bit of glitter. I'm going to start off by priming my eyelid with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Go ahead and give a nice base for our shadows to kind of stick to. I'm going to take my Naked Smoky Palette by Urban Decay. Set that base with a very neutral kind of color right here in the palette. How crazy is it that I've had these shadow shields forever and this is the first time that I've ever, ever used them. Let me actually zoom you guys in so you can actually see what the heck I'm doing here. I'm gonna go in with my Milani Bella Cafe Satin Matte, uh, this is a eyeshadow. I'm gonna use this for the crease transition shade, more like the upper crease. I'm kind of keeping it towards the top of the eye. The look that I'm gonna do is going to be a halo effect. If you don't know what that is, I'm about to show you. I'm gonna go in with this dark brown. I'm gonna take a little bit of that on a, this is a MAC 217. I'm going to press that into the outer corner of the eye, not going more than a third of the way in. And if you get a little messy with that outer corner, it's okay because you can clean that up later. We're going to do the same thing to the inner third of the eye. So basically what you're doing is you're leaving the center of the eye blank. What I like to do when I go on the inner corner is place my brush down, wiggle it around, but then kind of wiggle it up into the inner part of my crease to help get that color diffused right there, if that makes sense. Then going back in with my big fluffy brush, not adding any more color, I'm just going over the crease to kind of diffuse the lines from the brown. I'm gonna go back into that smoky palette and grab this light sparkly shade and pop that right into the center of the eye doesn't really matter honestly what color because the goal is to cover it up with glitter. I'm going to use my MAC 242 for this. Pop a little bit of this glitter glue, Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue, right in the center of my eye where I want that glitter to go. Then we can start adding glitter. Press your brush, brush down, it's going to really pack on that glitter so that we get the brightest effect from it. Back into that dark brown, build up those corners again. Just once you put down some of the glitter, you're going to lose some of the intensity. So we're just going to go back into that. And I may come back and use a little bit more glitter. Take that same darker brown and just kind of bring it a little bit into the lower crease right over top of where we put that glitter. Take the shadow shields off. 
going to do the Maybelline Eye Studio Black Liner. Creating my wing first and then bringing it in. And the reason I'm using this gel liner is because this type of liner is going to go over glitter much better than like a felt tip liner. It just glides over it much easier. We'll come back to the eyes in just a minute. Let me zoom you out so that we can get started on the face. I use my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. You already know the drill. Gonna go in with my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is basically what I'm gonna use as a primer, just to kind of give my skin a little more of a luminosity. Look at that glow that it gives to the skin. Wow. For foundation, I am gonna go in with my Balani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1. You guys know I love this stuff. I put it all on. So tell me what you guys have going on for New Year's. My husband and I are going out of town. We are actually going to Tennessee. Going to a youth conference. Not really specifically for the youth, but it is a church conference that's gonna have like a bunch of Christian artists and speakers and all kinds of stuff. And we have a group from our church that we are taking of about like 20 people. So that should be fun. And I'm using my Morphe sponge. It's just dampened and I wrung out the water. For concealer, I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in the shade Light Neutral. I've been kind of using this in every video, but that's okay. Using my Beauty Blender again. I am going to go in with my Kat Von D Contour Palette. This was in my Sephora haul. If you haven't seen that, then I will link it in the bottom bar. That way you can check it out. I'm going to go in with the middle shade and the first shade, like these two, whoops, the, mm, okay. These two right here set underneath of my eye. Using them to set the other highlighted places on my face. They're very buttery blend really well. Okay, let me set the rest of my face. Go in with my Rimmel Stay, Stay Matte Pressed Powder. Set the rest of my face. I'm going to contour my face with this and I think I'm going to use a mixture of these two shades since it's my first time trying it. I'm not sure what the shades are going to look like on me so we're just going to go for it and see how it does. So blendable. I really, really love that. Now I'm gonna go in with my blush. I'm using the Cheeky Powder Blush by Sigma. And it's just a nice neutral blush, but it does add just a little bit of warmth. I'm gonna go in with my Ofra highlighter. This is in Beverly Hills. Beautiful, you guys, oh my gosh. I just swirl my brush and mix them all together. I feel like this highlighter will go so good with this look because it's got all of those colors that are in that glitter on the eye. So it kind of creates that pretty iridescent -y kind of look. A little bit on the nose. On the cupid's bow, I'm gonna put just a tiny bit on the chin. And I'm gonna hit it with my duo fiber brush just to blend everything in. Now we're gonna go back to the eye, so I'm gonna zoom you back in. Going back in with that Maybelline eyeliner, I'm gonna put this right on my waterline. This is gonna create a really intense black um, lower lash line, and that is what we want for this. So I'm just gonna hold it down with my beauty blender. With that liner, I brought it all the way to the very inner corner. I'm going to put just a smidge of it on the lower lash line. And then we're going to buff it out. This is the Morphe M508 
like little detailer brush and I'm just going to smudge right underneath of that lower lash line. Grabbing a little bit of that brown shade and smoking out the lower lash line with that. What we're gonna do is use a little bit more of that glitter glue and add it right to the center of our lower lash line. Grab that same glitter and pop that right onto the center of the lower lash line. Just to help not create a mess, you can always put a tissue underneath when you do that glitter so that way you don't get glitter falling all over your face. I'll hold this underneath of it. I'm gonna go back to the lid and add a little bit more glitter glue and a little bit more glitter. I really want that to pop a little bit more. Going into the Naked Smoky Palette, getting this lightest shade right here. I'm gonna use this to highlight the brow bone. And then going back into my Beverly Hills highlighter, I'm going to use this for my inner corner highlight. Going to add some mascara to my lashes. I'm going to use my Socialize Mink Lashes. This is Inks 2.0. There we go. I'm gonna do this off camera and I will be right back. This is the finished eye look and let's go ahead and finish up the lips. I'm going in with my Jordana Easy Liner for Lips. This is in Sedona Red. I'm going to do a red lip and it's gonna be glittery and haven't used this lip color before so hopefully it turns out good. Let's go for it. Now I'm going in with my Huashi Cosmetics Lip Stack and I'm going in with this beautiful glittery red shade. We are going to see how this looks. And I'm gonna set my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. this look perfect for any special event or occasion but especially New Year's because New Year's Eve is all about that sparkle and glitter and shine. I hope all of you have an amazing New Year's. Please be safe wherever you are going. Just be smart and be safe and I really hope you guys all have an amazing New Year's. Make sure to follow me on Snapchat for a behind the scenes of what I'm doing on New Year's. That's all I have for this video. I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in my next one. Peace out.